Okay, welcome to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot, and this is a reading for Virgo, all Virgo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Wherever you have Virgo in your chart or in your life, there is something in this message for you. Take it as it resonates, leave the rest for somebody else, and let's begin. Messages for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to know? Help me be of service to Virgo. Virgo, you do so much for other people. It's time for somebody to do something for you. Nine of Cups. Happy wow love just flying right out two of cups a love soulmate relationship is going to make you very very happy or at least it did in the past uh but on the other hand we have anxiety nine of swords victory success okay so are you very scared to open yourself up to this love relationship do you have this sort of um, marriage between satisfaction and happiness and also insomnia anxiety and guilt and mental anguish it's like on the one hand you're super happy about this relationship on the other hand it's eating you up inside you have a lot of doubts fears worries and um like your as your did you do something is your conscience trying to tell you something i don't know i just see fear um you're guarded against this maybe king of wands aries leo sagittarius empress somebody that wants to treat you right somebody who wants to give you this love this ace of cups this empress venus energy that's going to change your life moving forward and there's some yeah you're you're resisting this romantic offer this is this could be a leo this doesn't have to be you could have leo in your chart but there's um yeah, something super romantic and, you know, it, it might be a little too public for your taste because Virgos tend to be a little more introverted, but I don't know. Something could make you very happy. I just see wish fulfillment. I see dream come true. This is a love relationship, but you're really nervous about it. You're scared. Afraid to love again? Are you afraid of love? Have you been so hurt? Who hurt you, Virgo? Who hurt you? Point them out to me. Okay, Ace of Swords, clarity, the truth, gaining clarity. The truth shall set you free. There's victory here. You don't want to look at it. You don't want to see the truth. You don't want this. The truth is you don't want this relationship. You feel like you don't have enough. There's interference. You're feeling like a victim. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling trapped. You're feeling this lack mentality, this five of pentacles. Maybe they don't have enough. Maybe you've been spying. Maybe they've been spying on you. This Taurus could be involved, queen of pentacles. You've learned something. You've gained guidance from something. you you're holding on, holding back. You're feeling hung up. There's impediments here. You have to see things in a different way, but you're making intelligent decisions about your money, your long-term future. You're trying to make good choices. And But look, it's like you want to get away from this love because there's too much fighting involved. You're, you've got a lot of conflict. You don't want to deal with the conflict. There could be too much conflict involved in this relationship for some reason. Maybe somebody has a past. Maybe of your past. There's interference here somehow. Um, there's like, okay, Wealth and success. Yeah, long-term stability, success, healing, the star, status and recognition. Something coming in to change your life, gaining clarity, understanding, doing like a cleansing. You might need to purge and cleanse. It could be time for spring cleaning. If if you live in the northern hemisphere, we're going into springtime and you might want to just open up all your windows and let in some fresh air. It's time to get a higher perspective on certain things because something's coming in unexpectedly to change your life. That four of pentacles, again, you're holding on really hard to the past, but it's time to go from dark to light. You're in the dark, time to go to the light. Okay, you're, you're ruminating, you're, you're mulling it over, you're thinking about it, you're taking your time, you, don't, you know, it's only a matter of time, you've planted some seeds and you're, you're nurturing them, you need to trust the process, um, it's time to open yourself up emotionally, uh, oh, okay, your openness makes you beautiful, your vitality, that, um, that nurturing Okay, hold on. Yeah, there's conflict here. You don't want, you know, somebody wants to give you this life-changing offer. Somebody's, it's a new thing. Yeah, they're, they're coming on kind of strong, but you're, again, you're sort of resisting. There's like this, you're in a healing mode. You're not ready for it. Yeah, look, you're still assessing the situation. You're analyzing it. You're taking a break. You're taking a step back. Seeds have been planted. Maybe you've already got a relationship with this person and something happened. You know the truth and you're not interested in this offer, this apology, this invitation that they're giving you. You're, you're resisting it. Yeah, you're not... You're not interested in it. There's a lot of, like I said, conflict. There may have been some dishonesty. And you have to let some certain things go. You have to see things in a different way. And maybe you're just not willing to do that right now. This is a love relationship. This is a soulmate connection. But you're just, you're defending yourself. You're blocking it out. 
Um, there's messages coming towards you. They want something new. They want to look forward to a future with you. They want closure. They want a new chapter. They want to come rushing in and give you all this information. They want change. They want this love relationship with you. And I just, I don't know. They, yeah, something has to end for something else to begin. Maybe they're involved with somebody else and you know, and it's like, there's too much conflict here. Like they could be married and you're maybe not married. And it's like, I love you. I know that we can make each other happy, but you're married. You're literally with somebody else. Like this is not it. And I have this long-term stability to look at, this success. You have you have money, you have resources, you have wealth, and you want to reinvest in yourself. You want to invest wisely for your success. You want harmony, you want equal give and take, you want reciprocity. And if somebody's not available and they don't have enough and they can't give to you the way that you want to give to them, this is about your home, your finances, your your health. You know that they're married. You don't want to deal with it. You're blocking it. You're, you're going elsewhere. Maybe a new love relationship somewhere else would be better for you. This Ace of Cups, this Lovers, yeah, it's like you're going towards your own wish fulfillment, your own happiness. And if you have to, you know, leave something behind for something else to begin, you're going to do it. You're pouring back into the source with gratitude and love for yourself and others. And you're not going to be bothered with something that can't give to you what you give to it, okay? There's anxiety here. You're holding on to your power because you just, you don't want to be an outsider. You don't want to be the third wheel. You don't, you know, you want victory. You want success. You want to be public. You want, you want to have openness and uh, be understood and somebody on the same level with you. And if that's not going to happen, it's like, what's the point? You want the truth. Okay. You don't want to have to worry about it. So that's why you're not interested. Decision. Mars and Gemini, you have decisions to make. Somebody being very strategic or you being dis protection, you decide to protect. Your decision is to protect your power. Bottom of the deck, power. M uh, Mars and Gemini, moon and Aries, moon and Scorpio. Your deci you decide to protect your power, your resources, your stability, the harmony in your home. Something is changing. Some kind of unexpected thing is coming in to change your life unexpected victory success you know you don't need somebody keeping you up at night when you already know the truth and you don't want to accept you know this bomb offer it's not good enough you need equality you need somebody who's going to give as much as you do preferably more who's actually available I don't know why I'm getting this for you, but it is. It's coming through. Maybe it's resonating. If it resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Leave me a little sword emoji <laughs> for the Ace of Swords if you if that's a thing. I think it is. Yeah. You don't want to accept the truth or you you know the truth, you have clarity and that's why you don't want to accept somebody's love so-called offer. Home. This card says home. It's the beaver and the birch. Number 30. It's about your home. It's about your finances. It's about your health. It's about your wealth. Okay. Let's read from the book though because I love this book. The beaver works hard to build the lodge where it raises its young. Yeah. You worked hard on your power here. Okay. On your fortress. You're not willing to sacrifice. You're not going to do it for... You're not going to sacrifice your home just because you've met, you know, some kind of a love really. Yeah, your home, your family comes first. You know, it's about compromise, truce, balance, um, doing the right thing. And there could be this king of wands involved or uh, water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? The beaver works hard to build a lodge where it raises its young. This is about your family. Protecting your family, protecting your children, protecting your power, from your fortress, okay? Um, using twigs, grasses, rocks, and mud, it constructs a safe environment for its family as well as a natural habitat for migrating birds. So it's like the whole environment, the whole ecosystem is depending on you. You can't just go doing stuff, you know? Anyway, birch trees symbolize new beginnings and they seldom grow alone. In medieval Europe, they were used as maypoles in pagan celebrations of midsummer. Because their wood was thought to protect the young and ward off evil spirits, it was often used to build cradles. Now is the time to focus on nesting, homesteading, and settling down. 
Decorate and tend to your environment in a way that supports a feeling of home. You may be feeling reclusive like a hermit in your cave. Hermit, Virgo. Consider planning a trip. Your spirit will benefit from a time of travel and self-discovery. Ask yourself, what do I appreciate about my home? Is my home a place or a feeling? That's interesting. Yeah. Is home a place or is home a feeling? Are you feeling a little trapped in your home? Maybe it's time to open some windows. Maybe it is time to take a little vacation. Yeah, there. some of you may need a little vacation. You might be stuck in the house a little too much right now. Get away from it for a little while. It could be really healing for you. I'm getting more cancer energy here. Yeah, you could be manifesting some, some kind of new connection and you're worried about it. But I don't know. I see happiness. I see love. I see clarity. I see victory. I see wealth. I see success. There's just something you need to protect yourself from, protecting your home, protecting your children. And you know if something's not right, okay? So that's that's what I feel like I've got for you. Um, yeah, that's what I feel like I've got for you. There could be an Aquarius involved. It doesn't have to be, though. Flirtations, risk. You don't risk it. You're not taking this risk just for what? Like to flirt with somebody because they're attractive or something. I don't know. Focus on your home right now. It's probably for the best. You know this is unrequited. Maybe you love somebody and they're not accepting you for some reason. And you know, it's it's like rejection is protection and redirection. So if you're if you know that somebody's not interested or you're not interested in something, then focus on your home, your long-term stability, and your financial success at this time. Protect yourself. Make the decision to protect your power, your fortress, your your castle and something unexpected will come in oh my god power four of four of pentacles save your money save your resources don't get into any pointless arguments and fights just you know it's futile just agree to disagree if you have to find that balance in your mind and move on towards healing yeah clarity you know the truth okay victory is yours baby i love it Anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. This is what I've got for you today, Virgo. If this was helpful, if this was of service, go ahead and like the video, of course. Leave me a comment. Tell me, what do you know? What's going on here? I need to know. We all need to know. All right, I love you guys so much. And um, if you want a personal reading, I've got some information in the description box below. But in any case... I'll be back again soon with the next one. I'll be trying to be a little bit more reliable. It's sometimes hard. Things get in the way. The last time I did air sign readings, it just messed up my energy. Oh, my God. I couldn't even post them. But I did new ones. I had to wait. I had to take some time off and heal. I need a little vacation for myself to gain some clarity and some balance within myself. So maybe you need that, too. We all do sometimes. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.